Some people only dream of meeting their favorite scientists. I teach mine. Welcome back scientists, it's me Miss B the science teacher and I am back with another video. I like apples, but ever wonder why when you cut it open after a while it starts to turn brown? Brown apples are no good, so I wonder if there's a way to prevent apples from turning brown once you cut them open. Hmm, I did a little digging and found out some interesting research. When the internal part of an apple is exposed to air, aka oxygen, it starts a process called... Are you ready, scientists, for this vocabulary word? Oxidation. So scientists, oxidation is essentially a chemical reaction that reminds us that our fruit is rotting. So that's why it's turning brown, it's oxidizing. Keep in mind scientists, we are going to submerge each apple slice in a different liquid. The goal is to observe the hypanthium, that's this part right here, and see how effective the liquid is at blocking oxygen. It's like the apple's shield. If this part turns brown, then the liquid clearly did not do a good job shielding it from the oxidation process. Why do apples keep falling from the sky? Anyway, in today's science experiment, we are going to figure out which liquid prevents or slows down the oxidation process. Before we begin, it's a great idea to take a moment and come up with your own hypothesis. Which liquid do you think will prevent or slow the oxidation process of these apples? Are you ready, scientists? Let's go. To get started, set up seven containers, six that will contain your liquids and one that will just be your control. Now it's time to grab the liquids you need as your variable. The liquids we will be using today are water, salt water, lemon juice, soda, specifically Pepsi, orange juice, and apple juice. What you want to do is grab an apple and carefully cut it into equal slices. Next, you will place each piece into each container. Keep in mind that the control will have nothing in it, just the apple. It's really important to have a control in a science experiment, so that apple slice will remain the same throughout the experiment. It's a really great way to compare to the rest of the apple slices. So we're going to set our timer for 20 minutes. And as you can see, I do not have my slices fully emerged in the liquid. So I'm going to use a toothpick and flip it over so that it gets an even coating. Scientists, it's been 20 minutes, and so now I am observing each of my apple slices. I noticed that the control slice is a little bit browner than the rest of the pieces, but other than that, there's not much of a change in each, just very slightly, so I think we may need to instead wait until a full hour is up before we make our final observation. You'll notice I have a few apple slices propped up. Don't worry, I'm going to lay it back down. I only propped it up a bit for presentation purposes. Let's observe the apple slices, shall we? After a full hour, we're finally able to see some changes.
Based on my observation, the control slice was oxidized the most. It had the most brown. It was the worst of all the slices. In addition, the Pepsi was definitely not helpful in shielding this apple slice from the air. However, when I observed the salt water, lemon juice, and apple juice slices, I realized that oxidation really slowed down for them. Honestly, if I was going to go for a top four, I would have included the orange juice in this category of winners. But for the number one winning spot of preventing oxidation the best, I'd say the lemon juice wins. This makes sense because lemon juice is the most acidic of all the liquids presented today. I do want to challenge you all to extend the time of the experiment a bit. Maybe you want to go past the one hour mark to an hour and a half or two hours or even a full 24 hours. I think the longer you wait, the better you will be able to observe the changes. Scientists, I really hope you enjoyed this experiment and I really, really hope you try this at home. Think about the liquids that I used, the liquids I didn't use. Be creative, make it your own, and have fun. I also want to challenge you. Change up the variables. Don't only focus on liquid. Maybe you want to focus on temperature. Maybe you want to put an apple slice in the refrigerator, one in the freezer, keep one at room temperature, heat one up, and think about how temperature affects apple browning. I will see you next time, scientists, for another video with me, Miss V, the science teacher. Seriously? <laughs>